Alright, hi, this is Oreo, my fav one of my favorite bunnies in the world. Two, one, zero, Dr. Payam. Alright, thank you for coming and thank you for watching. Today I'll give you a really cool calculus method, integration method that will blow your mind. And by the way, if you're ever on a date and you want to impress the other person, just use that trick. And I promise you, you know, they will, they will be impressed, you know. And this, it's a pi m math date. Okay, <laughs> so for example, let's calculate the integral of x cubed e of minus x dx. Okay. And this is called tabular integration because we'll write stuff down in a table. And it's basically just many integrations by parts at the same time. So, and how do you do this? On the first column, you put one function. The other one, you put the other function. And then, for the left side, you differentiate the hell out of it. You differentiate as many times until you get 0. So, x cubed, 3x squared, 6x, 6 and 0. Of course, by the way, this only works for polynomials until you get, you know, a row of zeros. So here you differentiate. And here you do the opposite. You anti-differentiate, you know, until you get this line. So you get minus e to the minus x, e to the minus x, minus e to the minus x, and e to the minus x. All right. And then you just put pluses or minuses just like for determinants, and you consider the diagonal uh, rows. And what you do, you multiply the diagonal rows, and you sum everything up with the signs, so you get plus x cubed minus e to the minus x, minus 3x squared e to the minus x, plus 6x minus e to the minus x, minus 6 e to the minus x, plus a constant. And guess what? That gives you the answer. Wow. And by the way, super, super useful if you want to calculate Fourier coefficients, in case you're taking some PDE classes. How about we calculate the integral from 0 to pi of x squared sine of 2x dx, again, x squared on the one side, sine of 2x on the other side. Differentiate the hell out of that. So 2x, 2 and 0. Anti-differentiate. So minus cosine of 2x over 2, minus sine of 2x over 4, and cosine of 2x over 8. Plus, minus, plus, minus, the diagonal things. So this equals to x squared times minus cosine of 2x over 2, minus 2x times minus sine of 2x over 4, uh, plus 2 cosine of 2x over 8. You evaluate that from 0 to pi, okay. and you get minus pi squared over 2, cosine of 2 pi, which is 1. Okay. This thing, don't even worry about it, because sine of 2 pi is 0. So minus 0 plus so 2 eighths, that's 1 fourth, cosine of 2 pi, that's 1. So pi minus pi squared over 2 plus 1 fourth. And notice the cool thing here, you have minus 0 squared times blah, plus 2, zero, square, 0 times blah, and then minus, so I get 1 fourth, cosine of 0, you know, which is 1, and those 1 fourth and 1 fourth cancel out, and you're left with minus pi squared over 2. Bazinga! Wow. That's all she wrote. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe my channel. Thank Yay. you. I love her because every time I come back, like all stressed out about math, 
I just fluff her Aww. and it's like all my worries go away. Aww. I swear, it's a, she's my drug, you know, my, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. my, <laughs> my Oreo <-opium. laughs>